What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rishi Yes, aka the Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to another Jump Rope Lab episode, people, where, as promised, I'm reviewing your footage, all my subscribers, all my followers, and in today's case, an athlete's video with him skipping. He's got a really cool move, and I asked him to send this clip in because, actually, I want you guys to take a look. I'm going to talk you through the move, and I don't actually need to do any instruction on this, really. I'm going to take you through a few bits and pieces that I think are important, but get this move down, people. Is a 360 behind the back cross, okay? It's like a mixture of the kind of Brian Valoria 360 that I've shown you on this channel, mixed in with other little couple of moves. But once you see it, you're gonna absolutely love it. Big up to Larry, who is an official RA, RA athlete uh, based out in the USA, and he's been kind enough to send this clip in and share his fire moves. And Larry, uh, as I mentioned before, mate, before you sent this clip in, I had to get this, show this to the world, because for me, this is the kind of style that I particularly love and enjoy implementing in my workouts because it gets your brain thinking and also utilizes loads of muscle groups and just makes skipping and cardio fun, which is why we're here, people. So remember, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It'd be really, really cool of you to do that, help this channel grow, and also leave me a comment. And Larry, just let him know just how boss he is when it comes to skipping. So remember, peeps, if you wanna get involved in the Jump Rope Lab series or have a chance of being featured, just use this hashtag, Jump Rope Lab, on your Instagram videos, on your clips. I uh, usually go through them like regularly and I'll be able to feature you nice and quick and easy like this. I'm gonna start playing this clip, okay? I'll get this up on the screen somewhere here and we're gonna just play it in full speed first and then we're gonna slow it down. I'm gonna break it down for you as much as I can. So let's get this rolling now. So here's Larry. Uh, yeah, here we go. That's the move right there, man. So off the bat, man, he's already, already getting in with some really cool combinations sets himself up for the move. And you can see this move, right? It's like a spinning 360 behind the back with a cross. I got him to also send me what it looks like from behind as well. So he's just turned around here, going through the move, taking a little bit slower, and he's just showing how his arms work behind the back. The really cool thing about this move, people, is that it incorporates every single muscle, okay? You're thinking about your footwork, your hands, how the, how the wrists need to move, and then obviously trying to complete this cross whilst you're spinning 360 is not an easy thing to do. So that's the clip in full. Now what I've done is I'm gonna put this into my editing software, I'm gonna put this into Final Cut, and we're gonna basically slow this clip down. So a few points to maneuver here or get through here. And what you need to remember is, this is a very difficult move, right? This is, we're talking advanced stuff. If you've already got the Brian Valoria or the Rush 360 down, like just check, go check out my 360 tutorials, just go find that first before you get into this move, because that that is the kind of foundation you need to get your feet and hands working and your body turning together in, in kind of like a synchronized fashion. But then now we're gonna incorporate this move, this kind of 360 and cross that Larry's doing now, which is not easy. Trust me, it's not easy. And I'm just gonna just play it from here, okay? And pause it here and there. We're just gonna take a look at the entry of this move. So what I love about this is, is Larry's kind of incorporating what I feel like is the best way to hit these kind of 360s, which is a, a kind of half jump. So as I roll this clip a little bit more forward, I'm gonna move this kind of bar out of the way because it's getting in the way. But you can see here, as he's gonna come and do this move now, watch his back leg. You can see his back leg um, just moving, obviously, like you can see his body kind of opening up. So he's now facing his chest is kind of, and hips are facing kind of like the one o'clock, two o'clock, if you imagine a kind of clock face. And he's already opening up whilst the rope was kind of still going forward, if that makes sense. From here, he's gonna to move to his side. He's gonna kind of complete this kind of behind the back cross. And what you need to do is you need to figure out what side is best for you, right? or left if you like to kind of turn clockwise or anti-clockwise. Now for me personally, I always move um, pretty much anti-clockwise, so to my right for all 360s, and that's because my left hand is dominant. It's gonna, I'm gonna show you why that's important, all right? You need to figure out what arm is dominant when you come into kind of, or when you come out of this move. So as he moves now with this kind of half body shape, just about to go in the move, you can see, I'm gonna stop it here again, his left hand is now gonna go beneath his right. So he's turning, and he's doing this kind of side swing, and at the same time, he's moving the left hand below his right. Now, this is super key, okay? Because this is how you need to like figure out, again, which one's your dominant hand, and et cetera, et cetera. It's very similar to the Rush 
360, the rush kind of behind the back 360, so EB360, that I showed you, it's like a three-step move, and that has the behind the back cross element in it as well, and I share that as well in that video. So here we go now. So now he's kind of side on. You can see the kind of right arm now, still in the shot, it's still in frame, goes above the left, so the left is now on the bottom. You're gonna see it from behind the other version as well when I roll this through again. But you can see now, as he's jumping, He's getting a good jump to get the 360, the, the, the kind of main thing you want to do is you want to get back to facing forward as much as you can. So he's taking a big jump here and he incidentally he takes the jump predominantly off his kind of like, well both feet. I would in this instance take it more on my left foot, the lead foot would jump more. And you can see he's just cleared the rope here, full 360 done whilst the hands have been crossed. And then at this moment, he's just releasing the hands. So as he's coming back to the front, he's releasing his hands and that's gonna get him back to his starting position. As you'll see, he lands really nice. And what he likes to do, and what I would I would probably like to do with this move as well, is just go straight back into like the sort of southpaw move. So he's done the 360, as, he, as he's coming back to the front, he's kind of uncrossed his hands, he lands and then straight away brings the left hand across his body to do the southpaw side swing and just kind of exit the move. So there you go. And then he just kind of exits like this. Like it's, it's Super difficult. I'll tell you, it's really super difficult watching it like this. I'm going to play it through one more time so you see it in slow motion now. So let's take a look at this. How he gets into the move, little side swings, little cross, really nice. And then you go half jump, cross, and then back to the southpaw open. So peeps, like, it's a lot to take in, really a lot to take in. You've got to manage your arms, manage the way it works. And I'm now going to quickly forward on to how it looks from behind the back here, okay? So... This is a really good angle as well. I like, appreciate Larry sending both angles or kind of turning around and showing it from, from behind as well. This is gonna, gonna really make more sense now. So I'm gonna pause it here. As you can see, he's getting set. That back foot is really important that it goes sideways. So you're side on. Imagine if you're like a boxer and you're just having that kind of lead foot in front, you get into that position. Now this way you do the big jump, all right? So he's just doing it in slow motion here. So you can see how he crosses his arms. The left hand goes right across his body, right across his belly button. And then the right hand stays on top. And it's important that when you do this behind the back cross, when it's in this position, you have to rotate the wrists. So always rotate the wrist so you can get the cross done whilst you're in midair. And I'm just gonna play this on a bit more quicker because he's just showing a few more slow motions of it here. But you need to be able to, to do this all at one go, right? Which is 360, turn, rotate the wrist backwards, get the cross done, and then jump through. And the timing of the jump is really important as well. You need to know when to jump. Uh, me personally for this move, if I was trying to perfect it a little bit more, and I know Larry's getting it down, I would just probably personally just have have my feet a little bit lower on the jump, so not so much flexing the knees. But what he's doing, which is really nice, is that the timing of it is still perfect. Time is completely perfect. I naturally would probably keep one one leg sh higher. If that makes sense. I always tend to kind of have one knee up and one leg a little bit straighter. But always loving the aesthetics here, man. It looks cool. So I'm just going to roll this one now. And then back to back to skipping. So, peeps, really cool jump rope lab for you today. So remember, guys, if you didn't already or haven't, and you're posting regularly and you're not using it in your hashtags, just use jump rope lab. A little reminder. That's the way I'm going to find you. That's the way I'm going to be able to feature you. As always, keep flying, boss. Thank you again to Larry. Uh, he's absolutely crushing the skipping games. Just go check his profile out. He's got super cool moves just like this and more. And I'm hoping to share more of my athletes' work very very soon, so you guys get a chance to see what. The RA Fly community is really, really about, um, especially when you get to grips with your skipping rope. So hope you enjoyed that video. Drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know if you're enjoying this series right now. I promised you fire consistent content when it comes to jump rope labs, and I'm really enjoying doing these type of videos. So I'll see you in the next video, peeps. Until next time, take care of yourself. Skip the treadmill. Stay safe. Peace. Was the knight in shining armor in your movie? Put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now